When a large transport aircraft transforms into a missile arsenal, what revolutionary storm will a Y-20 capable of carrying 24 hypersonic anti-ship missiles unleash on future maritime and aerial battlefields? The answer to this question may lie hidden within the trajectory of the Chinese Air Force's leapfrog development in recent years. A CCTV unusually signaled that the Y-20 transport aircraft may be modified into a hypersonic missile-carrying fighter jet. Military observers are gradually discerning a strategic landscape taking shape. The Chinese Air Force is forging an unprecedented long-range precision strike capability that will fundamentally alter the strategic balance in the Western Pacific. Affectionately dubbed the Fat Girl in the Sky by aviation enthusiasts, the Y-20 heavy transport aircraft is showcasing the accumulated strength of China's aviation industry through its remarkable modification potential. Technically, the Y-20 boasts a maximum takeoff weight of 220 tons and a payload capacity of 66 tons when fully loaded, providing a solid foundation for conversion into a missile launch platform. This carrying capacity means that, based on the YJ-21 anti-ship missile weighing approximately 2.5 tons each, it could theoretically carry 24 missiles, forming a formidable aerial firepower delivery platform. More crucially, the Y-20's cargo hold dimensions accommodate various missile launchers, with its spacious interior offering ample design flexibility for weapon system integration. This modification concept is not unprecedented internationally. The U.S. previously converted C-17 transport aircraft into arsenal aircraft for concept validation, while Russia has explored similar modifications for the Ilyushin Il-76. However, the Chinese solution stands out for its integration into a highly cohesive operational system, alongside existing assets like the KJ-3000 early warning aircraft, J-20 fighter jets, and WZ-8 high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft. Together, they form a three-dimensional strike network covering both sea and air domains. Through real-time data link sharing among network nodes, the Y-20 weaponized transport can launch attacks at optimal timing and advantageous positions, delivering combat effectiveness far exceeding simple platform integration. The core capability of the Y-20's weaponized modification lies in its YJ-21 hypersonic anti-ship missile. Derived from the mature technology of the DF-21D, this missile features a double-cone aerodynamic design capable of exceeding Mach 6 during terminal dive phases. Its unique, Chan Shuesen trajectory enables complex maneuvers during atmospheric re-entry, rendering it difficult for existing shipborne defense systems to intercept. More notably, the YJ-21's range is estimated to exceed 5,000 kilometers, allowing its carrier platform to launch from safe, distant airspace, truly achieving standoff strike. Footage from last year's Gobi Desert tests showed the missile accurately hitting a moving sea target vessel, demonstrating devastating strike capabilities against large naval vessels. Its guidance system integrates multi-mode composite guidance technology, maintaining high accuracy even under electronic countermeasure environments. Notably, the YJ the 21st of May also possess mid-flight target ray selection capabilities. This implies that a missile salvo launched by a Y-20 weapons carrier formation could intelligently allocate targets based on real-time battlefield conditions, maximizing damage to enemy fleets. Converting the Y-20 into a missile launch platform presents numerous technical challenges, but China's aviation industry has evidently found solutions. The primary hurdle involves maintaining aircraft stability during missile launch. Large transport aircraft face significant mass shifts and aerodynamic disturbances when firing multiple missiles simultaneously. Aviation authorities likely addressed this by installing trim systems and buffering devices within the launch bay. Second is the integration of fire control systems, requiring the development of new rotating launchers and rapid reloading systems to ensure the orderly launch of all 24 missiles. Based on disclosed patent information, Chinese engineers have designed a modular launch unit capable of holding six missiles each, with four units precisely meeting the 24-missile capacity. This modular design also facilitates rapid reconfiguration for different missile types, enhancing the platform's operational flexibility. Additionally, the Y-20 weapons carrier requires the installation of a dedicated data link system to form a command network with early warning aircraft, reconnaissance satellites, and underwater sonar arrays, enabling a coordinated combat mode where a fires and B guides. Analysis of currently available satellite imagery suggests that the upgraded Y-20 variant may have resolved key technical challenges such as structural reinforcement and electromagnetic compatibility. Visible structural enhancements are evident in certain fuselage sections, while additional antenna radomes have been added at the base of the vertical stabilizers. This modification approach bears striking similarities to the design philosophy of the Navy's Type 055 destroyer, 
The Type 055 destroyer, dubbed the Floating Arsenal, with its 112 vertical launch cells, extends this firepower projection capability into the air through the Y-20 weapons carrier. Together, they form a three-dimensional anti-access, area denial, a two-add system. The Type 055 handles regional air defense and conventional anti-ship missions, while the Y-20 weapons carrier focuses on saturation strikes against large surface vessels, particularly in distant maritime operations beyond the first island chain. Airborne platforms offer superior mobility and survivability. They can rapidly deploy to critical sea areas and strike beyond enemy carrier-based aircraft's operational radius. A typical tactical scenario might unfold as follows. The WZ-8 high-speed reconnaissance aircraft advances first to conduct surveillance. Upon locating an enemy carrier strike group, it transmits real-time data back via quantum communication. The KJ-3000 then integrates battlefield analysis, directing 4-6Y-20 weapons carriers to advance to launch positions under escort protection. Simultaneously, the Type 055 destroyer formation prepares for supplementary strikes. Upon command, Dozens of YJ-21 missiles launch simultaneously, forming multi-directional, multi-altitude saturation attack waves. Notably, the timing of CCTV's signal release carries significant meaning. Against the backdrop of intensifying great power competition, showcasing such asymmetric combat capabilities serves both to bolster national confidence and deliver a clear warning to potential adversaries. China's military-industrial system has achieved full autonomy, from R&D to production, with breakthroughs in critical areas like aero engine technology and composite materials significantly shortening weaponry upgrade cycles. Take the WS-20 engine as an example. Its mass production will substantially enhance the Y-20's overall performance, providing a more robust power foundation for converting it into various special mission aircraft. Simultaneously, the widespread application of 3D printing technology and manufacturing complex components now enables rapid prototyping of previously difficult to process irregularly shaped structural parts, significantly accelerating the development process of new aircraft models. From a broader perspective, the Y-20's transformation into an arsenal aircraft signifies a profound shift in modern warfare. The integration of large platforms with precision-guided weapons is blurring traditional military service boundaries redefining the interaction between air and sea power. When a transport aircraft can carry firepower capable of severely damaging an aircraft carrier strike group and launch attacks from thousands of kilometers away, the very concept of battlefield time and space is fundamentally rewritten. This transformation extends beyond weaponry to encompass evolving operational doctrines and military organizational structures. Through this demonstration, the Chinese military signals its commitment to embracing the new era of military revolution with innovative thinking. Notably, this innovation prioritizes combat effectiveness over mere technological advancement, emphasizing cost efficiency and maximizing operational capabilities within existing technological constraints. Looking ahead, as the WS-20 engine matures and mass production capacity increases, the Y-20 family will assume increasingly diverse roles within China's defense system. From heavy transport to airborne early warning, from missile deployment to electronic warfare, the boundaries of this airborne platform continue to expand. Indications suggest that variants such as tanker aircraft and electronic warfare platforms based on the Y-20 are concurrently under development. Among all potential modifications, the weapons carrier undoubtedly stands as one of the most formidable deterrents. It not only represents a revolutionary approach to firepower projection, but also underscores the remarkable leap in China's military innovation capabilities. When the fat girl patrols the skies armed with 24 sharp swords, it safeguards not only the nation's airspace, but also the unwavering conviction of a nation marching toward rejuvenation. In this new era of great power competition, the Y-20's magnificent transformation is writing a grand chapter of the Chinese Air Force's journey from catching up to keeping pace and ultimately achieving leadership. And this is only the beginning.